Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to enable or disable forwarding to a user since previously I have shown you how to add a forwarding address and how to delete a forwarding address as well now I believe it's time to enable the forwarding for that user or email account so to get started with that as usual I'm going to show you the syntax of this command after that I'm going to get back to this command prompt window so we can do the example so the syntax for this command is very straightforward again you will start with gam the user and the email of the user or group and the email of the group or an OU and then you type the OU name or path and if you want to, you can do it for all users as well the first line here is actually to disable the forwarding if you had that enabled for the user then you can actually disable it you can actually use gam all users forward off to make sure that all of the users in your organization are having the forwarding settings disabled for them since some organizations don't like users doing forwarding settings in their email addresses on their own the second line however is to enable the forwarding for the specific user or group of users so you will type forwarding on then the forwarding address and here at the last section you will choose the action that will be done when the forwarding happen so you choose to keep the original message in the mailbox and forward a copy to the, to the destination or you choose to archive the email message or you can choose to delete the email message or mark it as read so this is very straightforward and for this case I'm going to actually forward to an email address and I want to keep the email message in the mailbox so to do that again we'll go back to the command prompt then I'm going to start with GAM first of all I want to see the current forwarding addresses for the user because I actually forgot what the forwarding address that I have set up for the user that I want to work on so the command to show the forwarding address as we've seen in one of the previous video is GAM user sorry user then the email or the uname of the user in my case it's admin then show forwarding addresses I hope I typed it correct so as I see here I have only one forwarding address which is for this user so I'm going to copy that then I'm going to do the command to enable the forwarding so the command is gam user then the again the admin that I want to work on then forward then on because it was off before and then the destination address which is t user 2 in this case and I want the action to be keep so it's keep that's it I'll press enter and the forwarding will be added for this user oh I actually made a <laughs> typing mistake so it's keep double e and p not double p so the forwarding has been enabled and that's it really one more thing I want to show you before actually ending this video is how to verify the forwarding settings for the user and it's really a simple and a very quick command as well you will type gam then user and then the email or the name of the user and then you will type print print will actually be responsible for all of the reports in gam so anything or any feature or any property that you want to get a report for you will use print for so in this case I want to print the forwarding settings or the forwarding information for the, for the admin user and I will do print then forward sorry and then actually to just to make this quicker and easier I want to save the report to drive so I will type to drive so the report will be sent to the Google Drive and the browser window will be opened immediately for me so you see the settings that I currently have for the admin user is the forwarding is enabled and the destination forwarding address is this guy and the action is to leave the message in the inbox so this is all for this video 
If this was helpful for you, please like the video and please don't hesitate to post any comment or any question in the comments section. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so as well. And until the next video, I hope this was informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.